Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive. And tonight we are ringing the new year by going back to 1996. <laughs> Turn back the clock Tuesday, New Year's Eve edition. We're gonna be getting a little festive here, and we're ripping a box of '96 Metal Universe. These are made by Fleer. This is the first year they tried this concept out. So, for every single insert we pull out of these 24 packs, we are gonna be bringing the New Year in, and taking shots of tequila, and we'll see how that goes. But, uh, anyways. I liked this set a lot when it came out in 96. I was kind of at the end of my collecting days and kind of called it quits for a long time in 97, but I definitely enjoyed these cards. They were very unique compared to everything else that was on the market back then. Uh, every single player has a different background, uh, almost fantasy-like, comic book-like, and I thought that was pretty cool back then. It's a relatively small set, 250 cards, and uh, boxes of these are very hard to track down now. This one got pretty smashed up. I was able to get it for a good price, Usually these go for around 100 bucks or more nowadays. So, um, very excited to be doing this one. And we do have some participants for this 96 metal break. And we have Dallas F, Corey J at Ripping for Ripkins, Ben B, and Joe Baumgarten. So, let's waste no more time and let's get to ripping. And we're starting off with the top left stack for Dallas F. I'm gonna move these off to the side. I pulled all these packs out just to ensure that they were not all banged up. Um, they, they appear to be unaffected, regardless of the box being beat up. So every pack, you have eight packs, and you have a decent amount of inserts in here as well. Um, there's no odds on here, but uh, I think the hardest one to pull is one in 24 packs. So one in four to one in 24, the titanium will be the hardest cards to pull. And we should have one platinum insert per pack. I'm not gonna do a shot for every single platinum card we pull, so we're gonna disregard that. <laughs> That'd be a pretty, uh, pretty rough break if I started doing that. So let's get started. Dallas F, you're up first. Eight cards per pack. No rookies in this set, but definitely some nice Hall of Famers. And look like we have a Mayor Mirrors insert right off the bat here. Hoping these aren't stuck together. But we're going to spend uh, some time checking all these cards out because the designs really are awesome. Lance Johnson is on top here. And a nice Wade Boggs. Very, very different. Some of you guys may remember these, some of you guys may never have seen them before, but uh, these were pretty premium cards back then. Very neat designs, very different. Frank Castillo, I think a couple guys actually had this chains going across in uh, certain backgrounds. I want to say I used to have one of them. Jim Laritz, neat looking card. And there's a Robin Ventura, and every single pack had these, too. I forgot all about these ones. A million dollar hit, scratch off. And there's our platinum card. They're all gonna all look like that, for the most part. But we do have an insert in the first pack, and it's kind of stuck here. And it is a nice one, a Motherload Manny Ramirez. I've never seen this insert set before, but probably one of the better cards in the insert set overall. Very shiny looking card. So to the Manny, that's a nice one, Dallas F. That calls for a shot of tequila. So grab your beverage of choice, you guys. And I'm not gonna do full shots. This is a double shot glass, but. To the Manny. Very nice looking car in the very first pack. Moving right along. So we have a decent amount of insert sets in here. As you can see in the back of there. The mother load are only available in Holly Packs. And it seems like all the corners are pretty sharp too. Regardless of the box being all busted up. Geronimo Barroa is leading this pack off for Dallas F. Followed by Kilvio Veris. Very cool designs. I, I'm very excited to be going back and looking at these right now. I always want to get a box of these and check them out because I only saw probably about a quarter of the set back then. Troy Percival. And there's a nice Jeff Bagwell. Pedro Martinez. 
Nice looking one there. And another Bagwell. And Bagwell is going to be the, the uh, Platinum card. Not a bad pack at all. And then that is followed by the Hideo Nomo second year. I never saw that one before either. Then we have the uh, game card there, but not a bad pack at all. Bagwell, Platinum insert, and his base, and also Pedro. On to pack three for Dallas. Off to a good start. We have another insert card. I definitely had this one whenever I was younger. Sorry, I'm kicking the tripod here. The Juan Gonzalez Heavy Metal card. I had that one and I was so stoked on it. I think I pulled it out of a pack actually in 96. I'll try and separate here. But uh, kind of a little blemish to the bottom right corner. Ten cards in that set. Very cool. I like that one a lot. Cool to see that again after all these years. And Pedro Martinez Platinum insert. That is freaking awesome. Back-to-back -back Pedros. Game card. So they're sticking a little bit, but there's no paper loss. A Derek Jeter. Wow. Dallas. Wow. Jeter, Orlando Merced. And I see a Ripken coming up. That is a nice Jeter. I've never seen that one before. I like that one a lot. Let's check out this Ripken. Nice looking Ripken there. Very, very nice. That one a lot. Greg Colburn. Neat looking design. Yeah, these are really neat. I like these a lot. John Jaha and Sandy Martinez with UFOs blasting laser beams in the background. So we got three packs left for Dallas. Actually, I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm not being very festive. We pulled that one gone insert card. And take another shot to that one. Feel free to join me at your homes. Taking shots for every insert. Bobby Jones leading off here. In pack four, Raphael Palmero. See a Tony Phillips. Volcanoes exploding the burr. Erupting in the background, and Juan Gonzalez base card. Denny Martinez. Brent Gates, I haven't heard that name in a long time. Looks like our platinum card is Omar Vizquel. Probably one of the best shortstops in, the, in modern times, honestly. Trevor Hoffman, Trevor Hoffman. More of a scale. Hopefully, uh, I'd like to see him get in the Hall of Fame someday. Not sure if that will ever happen or not, but uh, I feel like he definitely has the stats for it. On the pack five, another insert card. It is a Platinum Portraits of Jim Edmonds. These are rife with inserts. I don't know if I've ever seen one of these before. Something stuck to the back of it there, Joe Carter. But uh, nice looking Edmonds there. Ten card insert set. Very cool. And Joe Carter is the Platinum. Game card, David Cohn. Chris Hammond. Here is our first checklist card. I never really care for checklists. I've always hated them, but like these kind of like, I don't know, change my opinion on that. For this set at least. Very, very modern looking. Charles Nagy. Jeff Kent. And Brian Hunter. Some dolphins in the background. Time for another shot of tequila here. I'm trying to do this off to the side so I don't, I don't spill any on people's cards. That'd be terrible. And on to the last pack. Good luck to you, Dallas. So far, the stack has been amazing. Several nice inserts and some nice base cards, too. And see what we get in pack number six here. Another checklist card. Very stylish. Charles Johnson. Neat looking background on that one. Glen Allen Hill. 
a Barry Larkin. Cool looking background, looks like it'd be like a black metal album cover. Move on with the eyeballs. So some of them are kind of similar. Joe Girardi, the game piece, Chuck Finley, and Todd Stallmeyer is the platinum. So still, I think that was a pretty good stack. Dallas F. I'm sure you're probably pretty stoked about that. Some nice cards in there, especially that Jeter. I feel like you have a pretty good luck getting Jeters out of your pools and whatnot on here. So first stack down for Dallas, and I guess we'll go over to Corey and do the top right here. So good luck to you, Corey. If you haven't checked out his channel, Ripping for Ripkins, definitely do so. He's been posting a lot of videos lately. Some pretty awesome stuff on there. Ray Sanchez leads it off. Kind of got a bum in the corner there. BJ Surhoff, a nice Chipper Jones. I've not seen that one yet. By the way, here's the backs. I guess you guys kind of got glimpses of them before, but just the previous year's stats on the back. Jeff King. There's an Edgar. And another insert card. I've been flipping out back in the day if I would have pulled this. Jason Ishringhausen is definitely really, really hyped about Generation K. And the uh, Mets closers. Who was it? Pulsifer. Was it Bill Pulsifer, Paul Wilson, and Ishringhausen, I believe. All the hype back then. And Klesko is the platinum card. So first pack in, another insert card. Pretty freaking awesome. I'm trying to stay festive here. And move right on this pack number two. Get to see a nice, maybe like a ripped insert come out of here for Corey. Any PCs, Ripken, first and foremost, I feel like. Danny Nagel, Roger Cedeno is definitely a big prospect back in the mid 90s. Nice Tim Wakefield. I always liked Wakefield a lot. And a Ray Durham. Stickiness here, Moises Alou, Brad Osmus, player piece, there's a Mike Mussina, have not seen him yet, and Sandy Almar is the Platinum. Very nice looking cards though, no insert in that pack, but I'd say we're doing pretty good so far on the pack three for Corey. See a Brady Anderson in the back here, a Dean Palmer on the front. And cool Lee Smith. That card a lot. Dalton. Nice Aussie. Travis Fryman. Enrico. Saberhagen. And Brady is the Platinum. Nice Aussie in that pack. Nothing else too crazy though overall. And we got three left. Carl Evett on top here. And Robin Ventura saw his platinum counterpart earlier. John Mabry, Dante Bichette, Brady Anderson Bass, and a nice Clemens. Good looking card there. And so we have an Everett Platinum and Gary Gaetti. Clemens is the best card in that pack, and we are down to two. And with the insert card here, it's going to be Barry Bonds. I feel like Corey like, usually gets Bonds inserts. That is a nice one, though. Heavy Metal Bonds insert. Two of ten. Not sure if you're a Bonds fan or not, Corey. I wish I could wave a magic wand and turn that into a Cal Ripken for you, but still, I would be satisfied with it, but I've always been a Bonds fan for the most part. Being uh, 
a native of Pittsburgh. Scott Stahoviak was a platinum. Shane Reynolds. Notice Nixon hiding out here. It's a pretty crazy looking card. Pete Shurik. Cool looking Al Martin. A planet exploding in the background. Vinny Castilla. And Tony Tarasco. In flames. Taking our shot here for that cool Bonds heavy metal card. And moving to the last pack. And Sean Dunstan leading off here. Interesting looking card. Was he like caught in between lily pads or something there? Craig Biggio. Molly Joyner. Paul Sorrento. Nice. Mark McGuire. Definitely had that when I was a kid too. I know that um, Corey trades with Jay Hadley and Jay Hadley PCs Mark McGuire. So maybe uh, that's one that he needs. You can trade with him. And then Pudge Rodriguez. Another nice one we haven't seen yet. Like that one, and it looks like Jeff King is going to be a platinum insert. And JT Snow, what a hot name JT Snow was in 93. Definitely was going after all his cards. Not a bad stack for Corey. Some nice ones in there. Bonds insert and some other base ones. No Ripken for you, though, unfortunately. That takes us on to the bottom left stack with Ben B. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these so far. Maybe bring back some memories of your youth. Definitely do for me. Scott Stahoviak on top. Looks so like we have an insert card in here. Brian Jordan. Alex Gonzalez. Steve Finley? Maybe not. Ruben Sierra? No, there's one coming up. Dave Neeson and the insert. Could be a better one, but uh, Gary Anderson. Not too bad. The Platinum Portraits, portraits are like one in four packs, I think. Somewhere around there. Still cool, insert card nonetheless. And a Clemens Platinum. Not too shabby at all. Not bad. Nice Clemens parallel there. Might as well take another one. Try not to make a mess. Happy New Year's, guys. And we go into pack number two. Another insert. Here's a good one, though. Chipper Jones. Chipper Jones, Platinum Porter. It's probably the best one in this insert set, honestly. That is a nice one. He looks completely dazed and confused. <laughs> in on that card, but still very nice chipper there for you, Ben. In good good condition too for the most part. Trevor Pers or Troy Percival is the platinum insert. So hopefully we see a titanium game piece card. Albert Bell. And it's the channel's bad omen. <laughs> I didn't even realize he was in the set. Bernard Gilkey. Why couldn't the UFOs just taken him away forever? There's the Albert Bell, Ishring Haas, and base card, Randy. Haven't seen that one yet. Pretty sweet looking card there. Chili Davis. That is pretty freaking awesome. There's a printing error on this one. I mean, it's got to be a printing error. Can't say I've ever seen one of those on Metal Universe, so... I like stuff like that, though. And Tendleton. Pretty uh, interesting looking card. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I'd be excited about that. So nice chipper. Bottoms up for that one. And move on to pack number three. Let's 
see a titanium. The titanium are one of 24 packs. We have a Roberto Almore on top here. I'm not seeing that one yet. Tom Goodwin. I'd like to see a Griffey space card too. That'd be pretty nice. Javier Lopez. Sean Barry. Craig Jeffries. I don't know if it's a platinum or no, nah, I guess not. Most looks like that has a printing error on it too. Mike Stanley. Cool looking card though. Kurt Abbott. And I guess our platinum card is Doug Drabeck. And three packs left for Ben. Makes me want to seek out another box of these though. These are really awesome. Canseco on top there. I'm sure a lot of you guys will enjoy that. I have not heard that name in a long time, Lyle. Darren Fletcher. There's a crime dog. Unique design there. Another insert card coming up with Ricky Vitalico. And it's going to be Mr. P.E.D. himself, Raphael Palmier. These are cool looking cards, though. I like these a lot. Most look like refractors, but uh, they're harder to pull, obviously. The second one we've seen in this break, the first one was Manny. So not bad. And Alex Gonzalez is the platinum. Not too shabby at all. Could have been a better player, though. I'm sure there's better ones in that set. The problem with uh, ripping 90s packs is that uh, a lot of the insert sets, insert cards in your pool are players that fizzled out or just didn't pan out in general. And two packs left. And... Uh, the Jailbird himself, Raul Mondesi on top here. Orlando Miller. Tom Gordon. Cecil. Somebody stuck to the back of him. Looks like Jeff Montgomery is the platinum card. And Mickey Morandini. Nothing too great in that pack. Cecil fielded the best card in that one. And leaves us with one pack left for Ben. For some fire in the last pack, and we have what looks to be a Marty Cordova Platinum Portraits. He was definitely all the craze there for a couple years in the 90s. I remember being part of it. So like I said, I mean, definitely a lot of these 90s packs, you have players like Marty Cordova, Jason Ishringhaus, and I mean, he, he definitely had a long career, but uh, not, uh, not too great overall. Cordova, insert... Matt Wahlbeck is a platinum game piece. Pedro, John Wetland, Bill Swift, Kenny Bennis. Hopefully you guys can see these designs all right. Can't really tell with the glare. Chris Wills, last card in that pack. Still some nice stuff in there overall though. Like that, um, the chipper I think was my favorite one in that stack for Ben B. And even the odds up here. Very last stack for Joseph Baumgarten, our buddy. Hopefully, we've seen our Jeter. That'd be nice for you. Joe collects PCs, Yankees. I'm not sure if you be interested in sending these off for TTMs or not. I think they'd be pretty cool, honestly, for certain ones. So good luck to you, Joe. The final stack. John Mabry on the back. And a Bernie. Off to a good start here. Nice yank for you there. Cool looking design on that one. I like that one. Kenny Lofton. He's definitely a huge Lofton fan back in the 90s. Hal Morris. Never really cared for old Hal. I'm not really sure why. Why Mark Wallers. Tim Nering. So some new ones we haven't seen yet. Edmonds. The game piece, Ray Lankford. And John Mabry is the platinum card. Maybe we'll see a titanium in this pack. 
or in one of these packs. The odds of those are 1 in 24, so technically we should see one in this box, and we have not yet. Julian Tavares leading off here. Rod Beck. Get some good years. Jeff Montgomery. Matt Wahlbeck again. Omar Vizquel. Another insert, and it's Rondell White. Platinum portraits. Nothing too crazy there. Dante Bachette is the platinum insert. Nothing too crazy so far, but hopefully turn that around here. So four packs left in Joe's stack. And take a shot again for our insert card. Moving right along. Yeah, we have another intro in the back here. Robert Bell. Starting things off in that pack. Heavy metal insert card. Two of ten. Rod Beck is the platinum in that pack. Game piece, Tina Martinez. Who was a Yankee. Steve Avery. Luis Gonzalez. And nice Tony Gwynn. Have not seen that one yet tonight. Awesome looking card. So pour that shot again. <laughs> I don't know how many we've done so far. It's been quite a few. A lot of inserts in these packs. Nothing too crazy as far as a few of them go, though, but uh, some nice ones overall. And we got three packs left. Wipe my hand off, got a little tequila on it. Brian Jordan on the back here. And Kevin Apier leads it off. Mike Greenwell. Deion Sanders. I definitely had that car when I was younger, too. Cool looking design there. Jose Mesa. He was on fire there for a few years. Joey Hamilton. A Jay Buhner. Cool looking background. I haven't seen that one yet, I don't think. And Brian Jordan is the platinum insert to that pack. And then there were two. Like to see a Jeter come out of here. I'm sure Joe would too. Tavares again is the platinum. Mark Lemke. I used to hate him. I don't really know why. Probably just because he's on the Braves and I was never really a fan of them in the 90s because of they always beat my buckos. Game piece, Mark Grace. Sheffield. That cool black metal album cover design there. Another checklist. May Ramirez. One we haven't seen yet. I like that one. That's actually pictured on the front of the box. Here's a nice one. I definitely had this one as a kid. This is Greg Maddox, and uh, that's a pretty awesome looking design. I like that one a lot. And Jose Jose Vizcaino. Vizcaino. Nice Maddox though. That definitely takes me back looking at that card. Say so he's the be really really stoked about that card. I think I bought it as a single for a couple bucks at a card shop back in 96 or 97. Last pack for Joseph B. Good luck to you man. Hopefully we see a Jeter or some nice Yanks in here. Sosa leading off. Bubbles floating around. That's kind of weird. Will Clark. First time seeing that one. A Molitor. I had that one as a kid too. I used to PC Molitor in the 90s. Tim Raines. Cordova, Joe Oliver, and look what we have here. We have a titanium card. It's Albert Bell. <laughs> Albert Bell titanium. Royce Clayton is the platinum, but these are the hardest ones to pull. One in 24 packs. This kind of has like a, I don't know, weird like printing blemish there too. You can see that down there. 
Still cool nonetheless, though. One of ten. So you got the only platinum or titanium card out of the entire box there, Joe. Not sure if you were an Albert Bell fan or not, but uh, I, I know I was in the 90s. I definitely used to PC him at one point. But very cool looking cards overall. Definitely had a blast opening these. Maybe someday we will rip another box of those. At some point, like I said, they're hard to find and they're getting more and more expensive. But maybe in the future we'll open 97 metal. But I want to thank you guys for hanging out tonight and uh, definitely have yourself a safe and happy New Year's ring in 2020. We've got a lot of more videos for you lined up here in the next year. So salute to you guys all. Thanks for being here. Thank you for all your support. I really appreciate it. And um, best luck and here's the good health in 2020. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night.